Two hours ago, it was raining cats and dogs. And now it's all sunny, just like sunlight. It actually got sunny right as school like got out. We got out of school, and then it stopped raining. And then five minutes later, the sun starts peeking out. We start seeing blue skies, and we're confused. We, look, we all look at each other, and we're like, what? We were just soaked like a minute ago. How did this happen? And now it's all sunny. So this is the extreme case of weather ADD. This is what it's like living here. I really like the rain. It's really nice. It, you know how like people, when it's sunny out, they just want to dance for no reason? That's how I'm like when it's raining. When it's raining, I, just, I feel like I gotta get up and dance. And I love the sun too, don't get me wrong, I love the sun. So I, I just like weather. I just like weather. Last week, two weeks ago, what am I talking about? Two weeks ago, we are talking about Chinese New Year's because, you know, Chinese New Year's was coming up. And now it's past. And I do believe this year's the year of the tiger. I'm going to feel really stupid if I got that one wrong. Chinese New Year, it, it follows the lunar calendar. So it's really not Chinese New Year's, it's the lunar New Year. The reason why it's commonly called like Chinese New Year's is because it's often associated with China, but it's actually just any country that follows the lunar New Year. These things are commonly known as red envelopes because they're red, and the reason why they're also sometimes called lucky money is because red, fortune, red, lucky. It's not like January 1st, it's not just, you know, some little celebration. It's actually a birthday. Everyone's birthday is at the same time you have aged a year on Chinese New Year's. So, how they count it is like your birthday doesn't really count, and then your your birthday is actually Chinese New Year's. Another thing is that in Chinese culture, they typically count your first year as the year that you are inside your mother. So when you were born, you are one years old. And so that's why the ages get a little weird. For example, um, if you were born one day before Chinese New Year, you would be one that day, and then the next day you would be two. So lately, I've been sporting these babies, and they are my new favorite fashion accessory. You know, suspenders, or um, I guess they call them braces in England. I really love them, because I don't know why, I just I love them. They're so, they're, sp they're so stretchy, they make me happy. I feel like a giddy little four-year-old with these things. But it makes me think about culture even more. Our different culture, we live in different parts of the world. Different things happen, there are different ways of saying things, like... My vocabulary is probably different than yours. You guys probably have different slang, things like that. So, I really want to know, all of you, I want to know about your culture, your life. And I don't mean your race or whatever. I mean around you, your surroundings. Like, what do you do when you, where you live? Like, what do people say where you live? Things like that. We talk differently. We do. And you can, it's pretty evident in our videos. And we do different things for fun, or we think of different things as fun. For example, some of the kids here don't have anything to do, so what they do for fun is they go to the Safeway, take a shopping cart, and run it into the pond. Now, I want to know your favorite slang word from uh, wherever you guys are, and I'm going to end my video there. Forgot to answer my question. Liz, I don't really go on vacation, so I guess my favorite ones are whenever I go to China because I get to visit family, and I really miss them right now, so I'd do anything to get there. Currently, I am reading this SAT prep book called Up Your Score.